It's a literal vehicular zip line. Hello and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. And in this video, we're gonna be checking out a map called Crash Grounds version 1.5. Now, Crash Grounds is, at least according to the description, an abandoned island forgotten in time. This beautiful island was once the core of modern crash testing, but years ago, the Crash Grounds test facility project was shut down for good due to unknown circumstances. I put that in air quotes that you can't see, but you know, air quotes, because you never know what those mysterious circumstances could have been. So with that out of the way, there are, I mean, this place is freaking huge. There are so many different places where you can actually start. I can already hear the ship creaking in the background. This almost feels like this almost feels like they just dropped us off here with no real, um, I guess no real like consideration for what might happen if they just left us here. And then they just peaced out. This is very like, we're gonna strand you on an island and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> already got my bumper. Okay, cool, cool. My bumper is already a casualty of this delightful situation. Can we do a burnout on the dock? No. <laughs> oh, we can do a tiny one. Just a tiny little burnout. This is gorgeous. There's like so much going on. Look at the freaking waterfall. Forgot this thing didn't have a limited slip diff. Oops. Hold on. All it wants to do is just one wheel peel everywhere. <laughs> oh my God, this is so gorgeous. This is like one of the most gorgeous BeamNG maps I've ever been on already. Like I haven't even been on here for like, what? Two minutes? And this place is already legitimately blowing my mind. A little bit of a drift opportunity. This place is so freaking wild. Ooh. Okay, I feel like I should get at least a couple of points for that because that was that was sick. I feel like we need some sort of like specialized rally car for this or some sort of specialized like race car. Oh! Oh, we found Climber's Pass. Although I don't know if we're really in a decent, oh, wait, hold on. View details, okay. I doubt it's gonna actually switch vehicles. So I tell you what, Let's, well, let's see, first of all, let's see if it switches vehicles. Now, if it does switch vehicles, then we'll be fine. But if it doesn't switch vehicles, oh no, it does. Follow the dirt road and make, sh make your way through Climber's Pass and arrive on the main road. Okay. So essentially we've just got to make our way up and out of the beach and up the side of a treacherous mountain to see if we can get back to the road. Sent. Oh, why is it? Why is it defaulting to arcade gearbox behavior? So far, this isn't that bad. <laughs> It'd be a lot better if we had our lockers on, but I didn't want to like stop and spend the extra time to lock them in. Okay, they would have actually probably helped us a lot there. They would have probably allowed us to just kind of rotate on the throttle around the corner. A uh, yeah? Come on. No, what? No! No! Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm gonna lock them in. Oh, hold on. God dang it. Okay, 
One more time. Restart mission. Rear's locked. Let's go. Oh, that helps the rotation so much. Still got to be careful, but we're a lot better off than we were before. Oh, so much better. So much better. Stop! I keep wanting to look at the view, but like, I know that looking at the view is a horrible- Oh, stop! I know that looking at the view is like a horrible decision right now, but I can't help myself. This place is gorgeous! Could you not? Maybe I should have locked the front. I'm not terribly against locking the front. I just felt like locking the front would slow me down, whereas locking the rear would help me rotate. But then again, locking the front might have also helped pull me around the corners. So, I don't know. Maybe I just... Maybe I just overall got the strategy wrong. Come on. Oh, where are you going? Come on, let's go. Oh, that wasn't bad. Oh, this is so sick. Oh no. Oh, I really should have locked the front for that. Not locking the front for that was just a genuine mistake. I mean, it's not like I needed it in order to actually make the obstacle, but in terms of like the overall time, it would have helped me out tremendously. I see the marker. Or at least, well, like the beginning of the marker. This is so steep, though. It's like legitimately steep. A <gasps> little bit of scrape. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Come on! Um, flip upright, I guess. That's fine. I just want to get there. Uh-oh. That sign said danger. Is that gonna stop me? No. But don't worry about it. Oh, we're fine. Just had to keep the uh had to keep the throttle planted and keep the momentum going. Doop! It's fine! <laughs> I love how at this point I don't know. I'm just trying to go. I'm just trying to push. I wonder if that timer just doesn't work yet. Also, I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm going to guess left. Because this is kind of in the general direction of where the marker was. So... Oh my god! Oh! Y'all, we almost, we almost died. <laughs> Slow down. Easy. Oh, come on. Oh, we got this. We totally got this. Just a little bit more. Should be able to knock out this last bit fairly fast. Oh! That was over exuberant. That was extremely over exuberant. Like, I don't even know what I was doing with that. Oh, a little bit of handbrake. Oh, let's go. Oh, we're so almost there. Let's go. Yes. Got it. Not bad. Continue here. Oh, 
and it leaves me in the uh, it leaves me in the buggy. Cool. Now I do want to go ahead and kind of expand out to the rest of the available map and check out some of the more gnarly areas. Like for example, let's see, big jump, zip line, and dead end. Whatever all of those are supposed to mean. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick travel, and okay. So there's big jump right there. There's dead end over there. And then there's, where is this zip line? I am so intrigued. I'm like, where is this zip line? Parrot Bay, play it today, apparently. Oh! That's, that's the zip line. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Easy does it. Oh my god! Oh! That's a literal vehicular zipline. That is so freaking wild! Oh, this ending is gonna be nuts because we have no brakes! Oh! <laughs> so that went well. Let's have a little bit of a restart, shall we? So now that we've done that, I wonder what I wonder what dead end is. It's probably exactly what it sounds like. Meaning, well, essentially that you would just drive this direction and by the end you would be dead. I would imagine. Oh! Oh my god! Well, I think we've maxed out the gearbox. Yeah, over rev risk and... Ooh! Ow. Very ow. Um. <laughs> yeah, much... Much hurt. Very ow. I do want to check out the big jump as well. I just... I just don't know how to find it slash how to get in there. Where do you just, you just go down this hill? Or is it over there? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, we found it. Do not stop. Are you gonna clear the road? Uh, just barely. <laughs> Have yourself a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of like a like a glove moment, I suppose. But if y'all enjoyed this very first look at this absolutely wild and incredible map, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And if you would like us to come back here and explore more of it, once again, let me know in those comments. And I will see y'all next time.